So I am <clears throat> currently relaxing at Oceanside Pier. Took a friend's car in to get windows tinted and it's a three to four hour process, which I don't mind because then I get to do creative things, train, eat donuts, or swim in the ocean. Always something to do. I don't mind the, the breaks, but a um, couple things I want to touch upon. First of all, when I was dropping the car off, he's like, uh, Tommy John, he's like, did you do a, uh, a video where you were hanging from your feet? And I was like, I did. I'm like, how did you see that? He's like, I don't know. It floated across one of my feeds and I saw it and was like, what the hell? And it's this video right here. So I let him know what the whole point of that is, is yearly strength tests. That's one of them that I perform, but um, those two consecutive were uh, setting up the stage for the foot zoom intensive that I did. Um, that's still available for replay if you desire all things feet from my perspective of things and experience of things. Um, so I thought that was pretty hilarious, a random tint shop in Oceanside had seen my anterior tibialis strength <laughs> strength example <clears throat> um but no i the point of this video is getting to yesterday i went on a 19 mile walk and it had come over me since closing down my office i don't know if some of you knew here might not understand um, what I did, what I used to do. I've been in an office, a physical space office for 22 years prior to the, the end of last year. And uh, always had a place to, to do work. You would go in and you would train or you would rehab or you would do performance training or you would do, at the time we did speed, agility, all this stuff. And then I did baseball lessons too. So there was a facility, facility, facility. And then in my evolution and adaptation and everything else, it had just, it was kind of pressing on me the last like three years. The whole concept of a building for healing or a building for rehab or a building for anything that somebody would need to put themselves in a position to be able to better their lives in some way, um, heal, uh, gain um, principles and concepts of healing so that they can go ahead and take their lives over, enjoy their life more, being at the forefront as their own practitioner which is the point of medicine i thought but it wasn't getting that way and just seeing where everything was transpiring from 2020 and everybody becoming a coach or a practitioner of some kind and just seeing where even the practitioners were heading and nobody really knowing what they're doing and coming up with just the next thing to sell the next thing to do the next thing tribes and all this shit now it's just like i don't think if we're talking about true health freedom which is the whole point of of allowing people to understand why their body would respond the way it does at all times and then what they can do to change their life so that they can use that feeling and sensations as guidance and keep doing this and keep evolving on their own rather than this reliance we have on these practitioners a reliance we have on a supplement or herb or a reliance we have on a treatment protocol or a machine or a stem machine or electricity or um, somebody to touch us and perform some maneuver, some manual maneuver. And it was just getting at me so badly and my body was actually having a physical response of symptoms that I couldn't take it anymore. <clears throat> and I was putting a message out there in the world trying to promote 
there is no building or person or facility or program that has anything that you would ever need um, that you can't just get on your own in your life. And by me just having the office open, even though I ran the office in a very unique way, in a very different way, nobody's matched it. People tried, especially in chiropractic school. There were people trying to copy my office, trying to do the thing. It just wasn't the same. It was, there will never be an office run the way that my office was run. Had to break some rules maybe, or did things a little differently. Um, but it was just a very unique uh, a way of doing things. And that's why I moved out to California to start my own practice was for that reason. But even though I was running it in such a unique way, um, it still was contradictory and hypocritical and I couldn't take it anymore. Um, the hypocrisy was too much and integrity and everything else, especially in medicine and how I live. I can't, I couldn't fake it anymore. Uh, or try to twist it in some way that would make it uh, satisfying to at least to the truth to my body. And my body's like, fuck you, here's the truth and showed me with symptoms and I had to shut it down. So I did. Um, and now I'm totally virtual and Zoom and I'm worldwide and it's given me freedoms. It's made my medicine better. It's made my visits better. It's made it's the, how I approach it and the setup is just so much more freeing. And even if there's follow-ups or progressions that it's just a true, um, in my opinion, uh, catalyst towards this thing we're calling health freedom that isn't, is the opposite of attaching somebody to a supplement or herb or a treatment or a profession, credentialed, licensed uh, profession in any way. And I hope we understand now that there is no certification or license or a degree or any named medicine or any label of any kind or any letters after the name that somebody can hold to where it is actually congruent <clears throat> with what the body needs to how the body heals to how the body works. It doesn't work that way. Uh, none of them, there isn't one. Um, and that's another reason why I dumped the practice of chiropractic and the profession of chiropractic, which I thought at the time made sense. And then you just dig a little further and it's absolutely 100% contradictory to how the body heals. Um, and so that was one that I personally did, but um, haven't looked back. It, it's unreal, complete decision that was just best for anybody who works with me and mostly myself first. But I was reaching out to a bunch of people I had had in the office and had relationships with for seven to eight years in my California office. And I texted everyone and really just wanted to see what everyone was up to, how they've evolved, what their passions are, where they're at, because um, mostly the, the uh, high school athletes and they were college athletes at the time too. Um, I just kind of curious, I just wanted to catch up with them. And uh, they all got back to me with their stories and their, their sharing of everything and it was fantastic. And uh, um, a couple of them, unprovoked uh this is not what i was looking for this is not the point of the text or anything else but they were saying um it was i just want to thank you for everything that i learned in your office that i was able to apply in my life um because it extended beyond sports or extended beyond my injuries or extended beyond training and performance and all this and I was like holy shit and it just hit me that that was the whole point of how I wanted to run the office that's the whole point of how I do medicine that's the whole point of how I even uh, set up uh, my profession if you want to call it um, whatever you want to call it I mean and so it it's it's life and that's where it was training athletes is very easy it's it's idiot level uh, uh, <laughs> of expertise to train an athlete for a sport that's just dumb it's it's so dumb you can anybody can do this and there are anybody doing this but it's preparing for life because life hits harder than sports and if you are preparing for a sport that's just an extension as a side effect of 
putting yourself in a position to be able to, to manage things in life and be able to adapt to things in life and sense things in life at such a high level that sports are a fucking joke. So then when sports are over, which they will be for everybody, professionally at least, uh, competitive, um, they're always there, but then they can move along to the next thing they're gonna do in life. And so this was really cool uh, because I hadn't heard them say that before. I, you know they're appreciative, you know that, that you have exchanges and you know you have breakthroughs and you know you have some really tough, in, uh, very high intensity days, um, but to catch up with some of them two, three, four years after I've ever seen them and haven't really caught up. And that's what they had said, um, it felt good. Uh, and it even feels even better now because then they're like, you know, what are you doing now? How's the office? And then when I catch them up, they're like, holy shit, that's brilliant. Every single one of them is like, oh, I totally understand. That makes sense. Oh my God. And here we are to the next step of evolution where I thought I could do it with the office and just the whole concept of an office, even though I still succeeded in what my goals were when I came out here, the whole concept of just having a physical space and, a, and an office to go to can't exist in uh, medicine. It just, it can't. Um, it's this, your office is your life and your medicine is all of it and your protocol is you and your thumbprint and this ever-changing thing that is everything that you do every choice that you make every sensation that you experience everything is for you for you to be able to sense you so that you can be able to input you and make these things these changes these modifications these awarenesses um as you move forward to heal you and uh it was something else to to experience this the other day and so now it's like well you're gonna miss that because you don't have that physical space you're gonna miss those relationships the relationships are still there they're not there because of my office i can catch up with these people anytime socially this whole thing of tribes being in your medical office that stuff's got to break it's so toxic and so fucked up because we have this oh my doctor's office is my tribe why because you all rally behind your labels, you all rally behind your tests. Well, what would your test show this time? And what supplements are you taking? And what's the latest news on toxins and waters? And what's plastics and all this, oh my God, it's just all this doom and gloom and all this rallying behind all that's wrong and all that we can be afraid of and all that's flawed and how the body needs fixed and how this group heals me and the names and the labels and the diagnoses and all the stuff that's not a tribe i want to be a part of it's not a tribe that's going to perpetuate a higher level of humanity although it sounds good but that's another thing i needed to break free from which is why i made some of the videos i did back in 20 uh 22 21 was leaving these supposed uh efforts to free people and it wasn't that um and so again, uh, I'll have that now again with my Zoom approach. Those relationships won't change because of what we cover and what we go into and what we share and what we go through together, that if I am gonna catch up with somebody, it's socially. It's not constantly coming back into an office just to, to be a part of some clan. Your clan is outside any office your your community is outside any office your tribe is outside any office hopefully like your family and your friends not hiding in some uh specialty office of german new medicine or chiropractic or homeopathy or whatever the hell they're going to call it that's all completely 100 percent antagonistic to anything being health or healing uh as regards to a human body and anything being free and so I just wanted to share that uh, here because it was a pretty powerful day. Um, yeah, so I am celebrating that powerful day with Oceanside Pier and Donuts. Cheers.